tutorial on how to use Google Forms to create a daily accountability journal. So you're going to go into your Google Drive, you're going to go to Create, you're going to go to Form, you'll have an untitled form here, you can name it Daily Accountability, you can just go with the default form, doesn't matter how it looks. Okay, first question, what did you do today? You can uh, type in some little prompt here, probably, please, and switch it to paragraph text. Done. If you want to edit this, just click on it, go back in. And another. Did your day go according to plan? What is your plan for tomorrow? Or ask a different way. What are the three most important things to get done? Whatever you want in there. All right, so you'll have your you know, four questions. You can move them around if you want to. You can change the order, doesn't matter. You can add all sorts of different items if you like. So I'm gonna click these on the bottom that say um, show link to submit another response. So if you wanna do a couple of these journals throughout the day as the uh, mood hits you, you can. You can uh, publish and show the, res the results to all respondents. So you can share this with an accountability buddy and you can allow responders to edit responses after submitting. Uh, you can do that or not, it doesn't really matter. So I'll submit the form, it's now created. I can share this now with my accountability buddy, uh, and it'll be done. Now I can view the live form. Now show me, here's what the form looks like. Now if I go into my Google Drive, it has created the daily accountability form and the daily accountability spreadsheet. I'll open up that spreadsheet now. And what you'll see is I have a timestamp and then I have a column for each question that I asked. And I can just go ahead and say test, test, test in the form and go ahead and submit it. We'll get a, you know, um, a receipt that's been recorded and then I can go back and edit it or make another response. If I go into the spreadsheet now, boom, timestamp and test, test, test is in there. Now, say I want to later adjust the accountability uh, form as we, you know, you and your accountability buddy decide, oh, there's some things I want to add or delete. Um, then you go into the accountability form um, and just open it up. It'll already be open here. And I go, you know what? Uh, I forgot to add our names. So I want to add the name in there. Um, so you'll just know between the two of you who's answering what questions. And um, I want to add a catch all. So anything else. And you can just add whatever you want in there. So, questions, comments, successes, URLs, whatever you want. Okay, now I'm going to send this form. Yeah, form's done. It's there. Now if I go back into the spreadsheet, bam, it adds name and anything else in there. But I don't like the order it's in. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my name to the top. And um, that won't actually change it in the spreadsheet. So what you'll do is you'll go to responses and you'll go to unlink form. And I'll say, do you want to unlink it? And you'll say, yes, I want to unlink it. And then you go to, and you say to responses again, you say choose response destination. I'm going to uh, name the spreadsheet Daily Accountability 2 so I can see what the difference is, responses, and I'll say, great. Go back into Google Drive. Boom, Daily Accountability 2 responses is there. It has the columns in the order I want. It saved my previous entry before I started messing with the fields, so that's good. Um, and then if you want to, you can add sheets for um, 
you know, the different people in your accountability circle. So this one will be for Pat. And then rename this one. This one will be for Steve. And as I go into the form responses, you know, this one's from Pat, so I'll copy and paste it into Pat's tab. And Steve's can get copy and paste into Steve's tabs. And then Steve can just read through his own stuff anytime he wants to, or Pat's own stuff anytime he wants to, and it's a lot cleaner than going uh, in between the people. So I hope this is helpful, and um, please let me know if you have any questions. You can also use this for all sorts of different things, like um, cataloging each ID extraction call you have, and um, logging your progress there. Uh, I can do another video on that if you guys would like. Please let me know. Bye.